good. This one's, I think I'm going to put it actually right here. This one goes to the back. Come on, sister. So, somebody, you need to watch out for the pokies, right? You're going to watch out for the pokies? Yeah. Yeah? And pokies mean when you hurt your feet. So... So I just bring bad to the chickens and next time we have to so my mom says no, you ready? Yes. Let's go! And just my mom and let me have to Very well said. Welcome back to Homestead to Health. My name is Caitlin and uh, that little intro there was probably the most adorable thing I've seen all day. Um, but Today what we are doing is finally putting some plants into the ground. Um, not to brag, but I was pretty successful in killing this lemon tree this past year. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking what's left of it up out of the ground and I'm going to put this fig plant here instead. appreciate that. Look at those rocks that I'm getting out. Yeah, just too many rocks. Like there was two rocks inside. Yeah? I thought you were shuffled. Look, a roly-poly. Yeah. Right here. Can I see? Yeah. A roly-poly. Oh. You want to hold it? You know they're related to, uh, to things that live in the ocean? Mm -hmm. They live in the ocean. No, they don't live in the ocean. Their cousins live in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Roly polies are awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. Whoops. Look, we did it. We planted it. The kids are so helpful planting this. Uh, it's always a, a great learning experience to get them involved on things. Sometimes it's a little bit of a uh, personal challenge. But today was really sweet and it was awesome to be able to do this. I'm just moving this tea post because even though it was supporting what was the lemon tree, um, now I'm putting it down more as a marker so that we don't forget that there's a plant here and nobody accidentally steps on it. Awesome. Moving on. Yesterday in these raised beds, I came through in the evening time and all of my cabbage starts that I had in the greenhouse, uh, they were starting to feel some stress. You can see a little bit of, especially on that guy and that one over there, but you can see some signs of distress because they were just getting too hot where they were. So along with my cabbages and a few of my celery, I finally was able to plant some plants in my raised bed garden. So, here, you want to hold these for me? Mm -hmm. Don't drop them, okay? Okay, okay excuse me. I'm gonna, actually going to put them down this way. So yesterday, uh, after I put my cabbage and my celery starts down in this bed, um, it occurred to me that I didn't want my chickens to come in here and scratch things up or anything like that. So I did put some garden fencing 
Um, I'm under no illusion that that really could do much other than just to kind of deter them, make it seem less attractive to get mixed up in, in that. Um, if they jumped on top of it, it would sag down. It was like, honestly, it's, it's not as um, sturdy as I wish that I could have some kind of protection over here, but I was just so worried about the cabbages being hurt by or damaged by the heat that I was thinking like I have got to get them in the ground as much as I wish that I could have I love you too as much as I wish that I could have put it off until uh, planting our large garden space over on the other side of the property um, there's just so much work that has to go over there so later whenever we're planting our large array of plants like our tomatoes and eggplants and peppers and all of those frost tender plants um, there's just a lot that has to be done in order to do that and these beds I just mixed a little bit of rabbit manure in here and uh, the soil the top soil that I used even though it wasn't very nutritionally dense I added fertilizer the rabbit manure and it's gonna be a perfect bed in order for these plants to come and be planted um, it's just a matter of keeping the chickens out before we have time to put the chicken yard up uh, that's just another project that I have to get done soon. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. The chicken yard uh, is going to keep the chickens safe and it's going to keep my garden bed safe. But before you catch me rambling about all that stuff, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I've got a cup of beans that I'll let soak overnight. And um, it's important to mention that the cabbages, they get pretty big. They get pretty sizable. And I spaced them out all out about a foot from each other. Um, it might get a little crowded. I might not get big, massive cabbage heads out of it, um, but it will do. Beans, on the other hand, will mature pretty quickly, and they'll be able to come up through the cracks. Um, if you haven't already checked into square foot gardening, that'd be something really cool to look into. Square foot gardening uh, techniques is a way that you could have a garden, a garden space quite similar to this and be able to get the most bang for your buck, so to speak. So even though all of this over here is, seems like it could be cabbage territory for a while, I'm going to interplant a couple of bean plants. They grow fairly quickly um, and it's just going to be more food to be had. And if they get shouldered out by the cabbage, it's okay um, and I'm, I'm, I could live with that. I did want to also plant carrots and beets later this evening. Um, but I think that I'm going to go ahead and I, I am going to wait for uh, my garden space over there to open up for that. Uh, not to mention my shade box area over by the kitchen has plenty of carrots and beets growing in it right now. Um, I think I might invest a lot of my brain power into figuring out how I can get um, a pretty good harvest of beets, carrots, and all of those cold tolerant um, plants that kind of do better after they get a little bit of a cold touch. Um, I think I'm really going to invest, like I said, my brain power into my summer garden and then a fall garden. Uh, last year, all I really had were these two raised beds that, that I put up at the very last minute and I was able to start just a handful of tomato plants and a couple of peppers. Um, and honestly, that's been only my real garden experience. Uh, I had a friend message me the other day and she was like, Sometimes I have gardening questions, but I just think that like you're way up here and I'm way down here and uh, I one I was extremely flattered, but also I was just like, oh my gosh, if she just knew <laughs> how little I knew that she would feel so much uh, more comfortable coming to me. Uh, I am a student of gardening and I, I will be probably for the rest of my life, but also I just have a great enthusiasm for gardening. Uh, I ran into a woman yesterday at Walmart and she was um, talking with her kid over like some battle with strawberries that she was having and we just found ourselves in this conversation where I was giving her tips and tricks on other kinds of vegetables and plants and um, it was just really cool. It was really cool to see how gardening has uh, become part of this culture that I've adapted to and how it's already starting to bring people into my life and be super positive. Um, but I'm going to stop gushing. I'm gushing over gardening yet again. Um, I did want to take just a second to say that I know that right now it is a time where a lot of people can find themselves worried or panicked over current events. And I just wanted to establish that this is a place of peace and a place where I, I hope that if you're watching 
that you get a sense of calm and a sense of happy from just being in the presence of a garden because I think that that is the coolest part of gardening is that it's so awesomely peaceful even if there are little witch persons walking around with beaten sticks <laughs> but okay I'm gonna get these beans in What are you planting? I'm just gonna dig this one. You gonna do that little hole? Yep. For a seed. What kind of seed? Okay, so we're gonna hold okay. a bunch of things around here. And Hold on, baby. So I'm gonna just sit on Humphrey's back right here. Humphrey's my garden turtle. Um, this right here is my lemon thyme. It, uh, it smells amazing. Um, this is fantastic on potatoes and uh, on chicken, and it's super awesome. Where are you gonna go with that? I'm gonna count. Okay. Uh, it's super awesome on uh, chicken and potatoes, and I just love having fresh herbs. This time was in this garden bed back here, but I decided to move it over here because I was putting things in there, the cabbages that we're gonna uh, shoulder out. I do have a couple of, uh, of my beans left over from uh, trying to plant over there and I'm gonna put some of these beans down in this tr you know this what would you call this baby Dirt. a planter a trough planter that's what you would call it I saw an ant. you saw an ant <laughs> hey Arnold thank you I appreciate that uh, our rooster Arnold has found his voice are you planting beans? Okay, just one bean, please. Oh, one bean. So I'm going to be planting these beans, these leftover beans, in this planter because beans are a nitrogen fixer. So, hold on, please. So a second ago, I showed you a close-up of this garden space. No, no, hold on, please. And you probably saw the peas and the rye and all of those big, lush green things really starting to come up. And those are a cover crop and the reason that they're planted is because you can just once you go to actually uh, plant what you need to plant in your garden space you can just till those things back into the soil and they feed important minerals that they could re put re feed back into the soil and so that's what I'm gonna do hey no no look at me look at mama that's not nice we don't treat our plants that way okay you say sorry, plant. Okay, you gotta stop doing that. All right, I promise you these videos would be like three minutes short if I <laughs> if, if it weren't for the beautiful interruptions that were toddlers. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant these beans. Yeah. You wanna come plant some beans? And my mama's working very hard. Mama's working very hard. No, no, I was working very hard. Oh, you were working very hard. You wanna help plant some beans? You gotta poke a hole with your finger. Come over here. Come over here with mama. You gotta poke a hole. Hey, not like that. You gotta poke a hole in the ground and then put a bean in there. Like this. Watch. You gotta poke a hole and I'll put it in the hole. Okay. Yes. Thank you for your help. Thank you. You're so sweet. Mm. Thank you for your help. Hey, Mama, my hiccup is coming out of my Yeah, hiccups are crazy. Mm -hmm. Involving my kids in the gardening side of my life, as well as like the animal husbandry and all that stuff, honestly, is one of the biggest blessings um, that I could really account for in my day. Uh, it does, it slows me down uh, uh, tremendously, but, and some, honestly, sometimes I don't have the patience for it, but I try to remind myself, like, just how beautiful this moment is before it's gone, and, uh, 
planting some seeds and getting some toddler sized kisses and stuff like it's it's all it's all awesome it's all what makes the job worth it so hopefully if all goes well uh, with my garden this year I'll be able to share more with you about canning and preserving food and um, also I'm really excited to hopefully be able to put out a series this uh, this summer, this fall summer uh, period, I hope to put out a, a series about cooking from the garden. So those are some pretty big goals of mine this year, just to have um, a bountiful harvest that I can preserve and have excess so I can preserve, but also just have an awesome harvest that I can share with my family and friends and with you guys. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Those, those are the kind of things that I hope to see in the future of this channel. And I've been posting uh, a, a new video about two or three times a week. So uh, thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see y'all later.